Hey gang, I am sitting, standing, waiting for my bus uh, in the in the mega city, Strode, the mega Strode. Uh, of course, I'm taking the bus so I can virtue shame everybody, uh, you know, with the carbon emission and all that. Although I'm still driving on as riding on asphalt, so the virtues aren't too high. Maybe there, especially since the bus, you know, <laughs> damages the asphalt. So, so it's you know. There's good and there's bad, but, you know, a lot of this conversation about global warming is about virtue shaming. Um, you know, I even said, you know, take the bus as your Lenten thing. So, you know, I'm as guilty as everybody else, but, you know, the whole thing, we're doing our part with being carbon neutral and, you know, and saying bad things about the fossil fuel industry. You know, turns out it's the heat, not the, not the fuel, or not the, uh, not the carbon. You know, CO2, does not cause the strode to be hot. The sun does and the, and the infrastructure does. And that's what causes the, the, the surface air temperature that caused Barents Sea that caused the Arctic. So that's, I mean, that's a, the boom, 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 boom. Um, you know, just like, you know, it's the, the, um, the um, ocean, ocean warming. Ocean warming is, is global warming. Uh, so the, you know, the bleaching um, of, the, of the coral and, and all that, all of that could still be, you know, general heat. Here's the thing. Um, the drought, that was, you know, the trade winds, um, you know, it's the El Nino, El Nino, La Nina cycle. And, you know, when Hunga Tunga blew up, that changed the trade wind cycle, probably. I mean, it's, it's not much of a not much of a uh, stretch to think that's the case i mean i'm sure a lot of things do the trade wind cycle but that's a big one you know it was a big boom so you know if there's volcanism you know you get you get you get you know um wetness so and there's other reasons but that's a big one um you know get the occasional volcano and we get water on the east on the west coast so um so yeah it's and you know the um, you know I saw a video yesterday. The Arctic is the the Antarctic ice sheet is probably not going anywhere. Um, Amox probably not going anywhere. It would take some nasty stuff to happen, like the Earth not spinning. Uh, it just kind of naturally moves. See momentum. Um, and and you know, but what did happen is Barents Sea. Um, you know, Greenland. You know. Greenland's a nice bowl, so yeah, we'll lose some ice, but what makes sure you get a nice lake out of that? And it's, you know, it may not, uh, it may be, because it's not in water, it's, you know, may not melt as easily. And it's, it may melt some, um, but it's not going to, it's not going to change, change much. Uh, it might make things better if it melted, but for a second, but, you know, we're in a vicious cycle. Uh, and sh And shaming... Carbon shaming is not going to change the vicious cycle. You know, we, 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 we have heat. We add, you know, we, we, the heat moves. The heat heats the Arctic, the Barents Sea that hits the Arctic that makes summers worse because, you know, um, it just does. The, the, cold, the cold doesn't come down more, as much. It's up. It's, it's, the uh, Gulf Stream is too far north. And when the Gulf Stream is too far north and pretty porous, the, the warming cycle just gets worse and worse. We've passed the tipping point, people. You know, no amount of, of carbon shaming is going to stop that tipping point. Um, you already passed it. So, you know, the thing is, what are we going to do now? Um, buses are part of the solution, definitely. But, you know, so is covering the road putting grass on the top and the parking lots uh, and and having those road feed tether of electric cars and provide c computers or c computer control um, from this from something central rather than you know relying on Elon Musk's you know second second disaster ago or third disaster ago it's you know we're talking you know a number of disasters. We've got we've got to see which one Elon has. Oh, by the way, Elon gave me a job. I've got an idea for a space elevator. Um, but yeah, so we're we're you know we're hanging here, 
um, and we're saying, you know, do your part. Well, your part isn't important unless you, unless you, you know, have underground electric cars that can drive themselves home to your, you know, all underground or under roof, uh, and you know, without these massive strode parking lots uh, like this one over here. See. That's in public transportation. <laughs> There's more heat coming off that parking lot than probably um, all the carbon sa being saved by the bus. So, you know, figure that one out. Um, so, yeah, that should be covered with grass. It should be grassed over, actually, you know. Anybody who's parked here should be able to, to, to send their car home. Um, so, during the week especially. Oh, my goodness. Um, so... Yeah, that's and the and the carbon shaming and the it's you know it's it's virtue shaming throughout the wrong issue, you know, and it's the the, the petroleum companies love that because here's the thing, if it's about carbon, hey, it's later because carbon ain't doing it now. If it's about the strode, the mega strode. Something's got to be done because people are dying and people are going to keep dying and agriculture is going away. Um, you know, on bad years, worse years, you know, the, especially in the West, in part, uh, the wheat, the corn, you know, animal feed will have to be um, grass because the corn is going to last. Uh, if, if, if a lot of years are like this, and they're more that like this, because while we were while we were talking about carbon, heat built up in the Barents Sea, which is the only big bottle of, bottle of water that actually gets to the Arctic Ocean, and it's they're highly associated, and the Barents Sea is 20 degrees hotter, one degree a year. You know, we talk about you know a degree and a half of total warming on the planet. Doesn't matter. A degree, a degree centigrade a year from air and water, that's huge. And it's done. So the question is, how do we roll it back? And there's only one way. Cover where I am now with grass. And you can, you know, you can have buses as long as they go under, under, under a separate canopy. Um, but, you know, doing, doing what we're doing has not worked. Grassing over cities, getting rid of the heat islands. You know, every building should have, have grass on it, solar panels and a little water, because, you know, the, the big innovation now is putting, you know, solar panels over over grass or crops with some water. It cools them down so they're most effective. Uh, and, you know, it would, and if they're, you know, if they're done the right way, they won't reflect all the black back. Uh, because if the, you know if the black adds to the warning, then you know then solar panels aren't a good idea. But the grass is, so you know we have, you know the the minds of engineers can deal with that, you know the minds of political leaders like, and influencers and, that thought leaders, which is my thing, and how do we do this by the way? Cooperatives. We can't do this by. Um, Capitalism won't, won't do this. If if cooperative employer, if, if employee-owned firms, you know, cooperated with each other and cooperatively purchased stuff, including finances and food and highways, you know, if, if there's a bunch of, if this is, if there were a bunch of co in a city, if there's a, like five or six industries, and they cooperate to change the road system, it'll get done. Uh, and put in um, small nuclear. Look at done. It'd be cheaper too and safer. Um, so yeah, but because they can make decisions like that, they don't have to rely on the government to do it or the market to do it, because the government is not allowed to do it because oil. Uh, the only way we're gonna get rid of oil is is cooperative, voluntary action. So sorry for the shaking, but I don't have a selfie stick, and I'm not that stable anyway. So. Uh, take that with all the all the irony you want, but yeah, this was about virtue shaming and solutions. So, yeah, and my bus is here, so I'm going home.
and have my red meat. And I can't get my red meat in the lab yet. When I can, I'll switch to it. The line shall eat grass, right? You know, a little beard. So, yeah. Um, okay. Catching the bus. Toodaloo.